Yeah, let's just walk right into it. Like a giant idiot. That's great. Hey everybody and welcome back. Today we're taking a first impressions look at a game called Devious Dungeon. Now this is not set to be out until quarter two, 2019. I do believe that there is a Switch and PS4 version as well set to come out um, a bit later as well. Oh, okay, hold on, we can buy stuff. Okay, how much money do we have? We have zero, so probably a shop is not really what I want right now. Dungreed. That's what it was. The game that I was thinking of was called Dungreed. This is just like that so far. Oh, now we're actually on the real level one. I got a bunch of achievements for that. Okay. I'm just trying, I'm just playing, trying to play it careful. Trying to play it safe. Give me your bow. Give me your bow. Do you think the skeleton had a bone and arrow? Ah, uh, someone out there chuckled. I guarantee one of you guys chuckled about that. A bone and arrow? You get it because he's a skeleton and he shoots a bow? Oh, okay. Don't... They don't just have attacks. You can just land on them and take damage, so don't touch the enemies. Okay, where is this going? Okay, okay. Now we only have 13 HP. Basically, don't walk, like, directly into enemies. Wow, okay, also don't jump in and whoa, we leveled up. Um, do we want crit plus one? No, we want damage. I want damage because you know what? I'll figure out how to dodge event. One day I'll figure out how to dodge and then we won't need health. Oh, the coin was worth, it was worth it. I was, woo. I was only slightly worried that I was gonna uh, pay, pay with, with my life for that one. Okay, that one is slightly faster than the others. Okay, I'm getting a little bit better at dodging the enemies and not just, you know, walking directly into them. Um, but that's only gonna hold up for about the next probably two enemies before I forget everything that I've learned and just start walking into them again. Oh, that was it. We've reached the end. Okay. Well, we have a lot of money. I would love... Oh, is this a trade caravan? Yes. Oh wait, we're unlocking other stuff as we buy? Oh, that means we need to buy it then. Oh yeah, now there's a steel sword that I absolutely cannot buy because now I'm broke. Do I want to receive a healing for 50 coins? Hell yeah. Perfect. We're unbeatable now, we're blessed, we're hashtag blessed. I saw the achievement right there in my Steam window. It said hashtag blessed. It didn't say hashtag blessed, it just said blessed. I added the hashtag part. Because I was trying to be trendy. Oh! Oh, that was just a ton of EXP. Okay. Okay. So that seeker was slightly more hidden. And I just realized we're picking up keys. That's what's opening the portal. Uh, basically, if you're wondering, yes, I am actually an idiot. Thank you for asking. See, now there could be a secret in that wall right there. But I'm not going to jump that because I feel like I'm gonna land directly in the spikes underneath of it after I do so. Ah, uh, okay, I checked I checked that one little place, and you know what, that's enough for me. I don't feel like I need to go finding out, you know, if those spikes actually really hurt or not. I know they do. Oh, that crit was good. You see, those, those points in crit are paying off. All I need is about uh, 10 more levels. Oh, that guy. God, he's in... There we go. Got it before it had a chance to fall into the pit. Oh god. Oh god. Why? Oh god. It's all coming apart. Okay. What I need now is some health immediately. I have 18, which is not a tiny amount of health, but it's also not a lot of health. Whoa. 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 And I'm encountering new enemies and I don't know what their attack patterns are yet, so I'm taking a little bit more damage than I oh, normally would. We got 12 HP. Need some health. Need some health, game. Need some health real bad. I'm not, I'm not a math person, but I do know that there will be a, a handoff at some point where crit becomes more 
uh, mathematically viable. Like, it'll, it'll end up giving you more damage than just straight damage would. Ow. I got an achievement. It's called Sick Reflexes. Thanks, game. Thanks. I really appreciate that. All right, so we have enough to buy the sword right now. As long as I don't get hit and we collect pretty much the rest of the money on the entire stage, um, I think we'll be able to both buy the sword as well as uh, heal up. Yeah, let's just walk right into it like a giant idiot. That's great. Oh, okay, it just it just keeps giving us more quests. Every time you complete one, you get a new one. Got it. Let me get that sword. Hell yes. Give me that sword. Yes. Stone hammer. I want one of those. Armor. 300. I do not have enough. Rings. 125. Yes. 86. We could heal, but how much? What's our total HP? Stats. Um, our HP is 38. So actually, I don't think it's worth it to heal. We're all, no, no, no. We're, we're only missing. Oh, look at this sword. Okay, so maybe I should have healed. You know, it's definitely possible that I should have healed. And I know that now. And that's, you know, for the future, that that's great information. I didn't realize I'd be taking this much damage immediately upon entry to this floor. Because of that little fucker with a knife. Oh, that was a quest, too. That was a hundred. And whatever that... Oh, we have so much money. Okay, I don't think there are any secrets on this stage. Well, I'm gonna say that there are no secrets on this stage, but I really don't know. So this was stage 10. I do believe that now it's boss time. If that, um, if that first thing that we encountered when we started the game was accurate. This should be the boss. Alright, boss time. Okay! Whoa, 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 dude. Are you just gonna... Okay. You got nothing. You're gonna do the sword? Yeah. Do the... Yep. Oh, we're dropping the damage. That was a little frightening when the fight started, though. He was just kind of waving that sword around and kind of murdering us. Let's not get greedy. I can wait. I can wait one more rotation for the stall oh, right in the back. Oh. Secret? No secret. Oh, we can buy again? 350? I'm just barely short. Buy an amulet. Can I buy a new potion? 125? Hell yeah, I can. Okay, so I'm not sure how far the game goes. It may just be that you go until you die. And then, uh... Wow. Wow, these guys take a lot of hits. And they just turn and burn you. Okay, so... We're definitely gonna die. But at least I know what these stages are like. Yeah, we have five HP. Let's just go ahead and die. Just so we can see what that's like. Hold on, treasure chest. Yeah, we, we died. Resurrect. Oh, wait. Hold on, we kept the money. And we can still shop. We could just upgrade to this. Oh, it's so fast. So I guess we just keep going now and we choose... Okay, hold on. Let's see what happens when we go in the portal. Does it take us back there? I see. So you go through until... Okay, so it's just going to restart you. So it's a rogue light. Definitely good to know. So what I like to do at the end of the uh, first impressions video is kind of wrap it up with my thoughts on the game point out some things that uh, maybe weren't as obvious. Um, definitely enjoying the game. Uh, the, the progression is definitely super linear. You can just choose to beeline down one 
one stat tree. And honestly, it's not a bad idea. For instance, if you just went straight down the weapon tree, you could have a crazy high attack by, you know, level, you know, 10 by that boss fight. And then once you're getting a ton of extra money, you could just buy all of the rings, all of the amulets really quickly and up your damage uh, again very, very, very quickly. Um, the controls are definitely tight. The jumping never feels weird. It didn't feel like I, you know, got punished for the game accidentally jumping me or dropping me off a ledge or anything like that. I had a lot of fun from start to finish, honestly. And so I would say that definitely keep an eye out for this game when it comes out quarter two. Uh, I don't know an official release date. I don't even know a price for this yet. This was just a really early first impressions look, but it's looking good. And again, I do believe it's coming out on the Switch and PS4 and maybe even Xbox as well soon. So that's it. We're going to wrap up there. As always, let me know what you think. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below. Hopefully, uh, maybe you'll add this to your wish list. Maybe it's something you want to look out for. And until next time, burn bright, everybody. This is where I figure out I wasn't recording that whole time. <laughs>